No, not necessarily. So broken noses um, can be a simple undisplaced break in the bone that just heals right through to a complete squash nose that doesn't work at all. So the complications and problems you may get, the nose can be deviated and bent. You can get problems with breathing through your nose. All of these can be treated, um, but sometimes they need no treatment at all, an undisplaced break that just lets, needs time to heal by itself. So the most common thing following a broken nose is that the nose gets deviated to one side or the other. Sometimes the nasal bones get depressed in, and that can be relatively easily treated by just manipulating the nose. The other thing we look for is how well the nose works, so the airway, can you still breathe through your nose? Often the middle bit, the septum gets displaced, and again, that can be corrected. They're the, the commonest things. Broken nose, of course, can give you things like black eyes and swelling, all of which will resolve with time. So the common, the commonest symptom that patients will experience is a bend in the nose, um, pain, swelling, which will always settle, and airway problems, so not being able to breathe very well through the nose, which um, we need to assess the nose and see if that needs correcting surgically or whether that will just be allowed to settle. One of the common complications is you get a blood clot in the nose that can take out structural integrity of the nose and cause the nose to collapse. So if that's recognised nice and early, we can treat that. A bend in the nose or deviation we can correct with a simple procedure, often under a local anaesthetic or sometimes with your sleep under a general anaesthetic. And if the middle bit of the nose gets displaced so the airway is um, impeded, we can correct that again with a small operation. Often it's better to do these treatments sooner rather than later uh, because then they can be less invasive. So with nasal trauma, we would always recommend being seen uh, within a week or so, simply because if it's deviated and bent, then if we can reset it before the bone's set, which is a lot quicker and easier. We also like to assess the airway um, and breathing after a nasal injury because if you do get a blood clot in the lining of the nose, that can cause problems with the integ structural integrity of the nose. And again, if that's treated quickly, that doesn't become a problem. Longer term problems can be due to deflection of the middle bit of the nose causing airway. We can treat that at any point um, when it becomes a problem.